Um, they're each going to introduce themselves as part of their story. Um, so, Nora, you're going to kick it off for us today. Thanks so much, Annalise, and thanks all for attending today. I'm really thankful that to be invited and also to, to learn a lot from all of you um, in this process. So, uh, I'll just start off. I'm going to go through and kind of a little bit about my career and where, where I've been and where I've come from. I've basically um, been doing remote consulting for over 10 years. Uh, mostly in the States, but now I'm doing it from Japan, which adds another twist of complexity. Uh, but basically, I'm a graduate of MIT with a, mas with a bachelor's in mechanical and a master's in biotechnology. I also am a licensed professional engineer in mechanical engineering, and I also am a certified reliability engineer. Um, in addition to that, I have certification with additive manufacturing, which is 3D printing. So I think that's kind of the new wave of the future that um, I hope to get into more as I progress. Uh, basically, I've worked with uh, large companies and several startups. I've been involved with manufacturing uh, with General Motors uh, in one of their assembly plants in Michigan early in my career, and I also spent time with a division, several divisions of Johnson & Johnson and Dow Corning. So I got the corporate experience and understanding how uh, you know really big companies do things, um, <clears throat> and also since then, I've also worked with, uh, let's see, two internal startup companies uh, through Johnson & Johnson and another, uh, and, and three uh, startup companies that were outside of uh, the big corporate world. And uh, so had a variety of experiences working with large teams as well as small. Uh, my role and my passion has been in product development. I do medical device product development. Uh, we just, one of the companies I work with, we just launched a coronary stent, so it's a stent for the heart, uh, in the U.S. We've been selling it for about 10 years in Europe, and now we're selling it uh, in the U.S. We just got FDA approval. Uh, so my role in that is basically starting from the beginning of the concept of the design all the way through to commercial um, with the engineering part of it. So basically ensuring that we have uh, the design uh, created, that we also look at the risks associated with developing a design, and then also all the testing that goes into that. And as you can imagine, in medical, before it ever gets in a, into a person, you've got to do a lot of work um, proving your design on the bench and also bought, you know, various biocompatibility sort of things. So in my job, I get to interface with a lot of different types of professionals. Uh, from biological to um, finite element analysis for engineering work to designers, uh, manufacturing, and uh, in terms of different materials and processes. So I know uh, I've been working with people that make machining, uh, machining parts, also laser cutting parts, electro polishing, um, <clears throat> and also assembly is a big part of our, um, our work. Uh, not to be left out in medical, packaging and sterilization is also really critical. So uh, how do we, we use radiation or we use ethylene oxide, typically I use radiation. Um, and also just managing the packaging design so it's, the product m remains sterile and is also easy for the physician to open. As any of you in the medical profession know about uh, all the packaging that's involved with, uh, with products. Um, so that is just a kind of an overview. In order to do this, I, uh, I work through, obviously, um, email, but also do a lot of Skype uh, calling and it, trying to face-to-face. -face. One of the things I found working remote, it's very important that at least initially or at some point early on in the, in the working phase of uh, working with new people is to have a face-to-face -face meeting. Um, and of course now in Japan that's a bit more challenging, but um, my strategy here is that in fact I'm looking for companies within Japan to work with, either to take a technology from America and have it fabricated here, or uh, potentially have Japanese companies that have a new medical product that they like to bring to the US. That's where I could see my potential connection. But anyways, I think one of the important things in uh, trying to work remotely is to enable uh, some form of uh, contact which can occur uh, at a conference if you're attending or uh, actually visiting the company. Um, especially when I do manufacturing work, I, I really want to go visit the facilities and make sure I understand how their operations work so that I, then from that point on it's usually pretty smooth as to uh, how we can work together. Um, let me see what else I could talk about. Um, 
two more minutes, thank you. All right, um, in terms of my business critical success factors, one is I need a reliable network of experts. I, I'm an expert maybe, I'm expert in, I know enough about everything to find the right person that's an expert in what they do, whether it's a new uh, material or a new process. And that's always what's exciting to me about being in product development is the fact that I do get to really um, challenge myself by seeing uh, new, new things that people are doing. Um, I also engage in professional organizations. I'm a member of the ASME, American Society of Mechanical Engineers, Society of Manufacturing Engineers, Quality, Society of Quality. <laughs> Um, and that's another way to, to keep current in terms of uh, what's happening in your, in your field and also making connections for when, you, when I do need somebody in quality, I, I know who to call. <laughs> um, and I think, let's see, I think one of the challenges I have, especially here now, is establishing my uh, local network of, um, of su support team. Um, and I'm really glad I'm, I see all so many people out here because I'm hoping maybe we can all support each other in, in our efforts. Um, I think that's about it. Thank you very much. Look forward to hearing your questions and also hearing about what you're doing.